Hey everyone, this is Dr. Walker here. This is video 217. It's going to be a familiar topic. It is called conservation of energy. So we did talk about this in physics once, so it's going to be very similar here in this context. So conservation of energy applies when we have charges moving um, because of electric fields. So let's take a look at this picture first. What it's showing is a positive charge that is moving to the right, and it's moving to a region of lower potential. You can see that there is a potential difference between these two points. And what the green arrow is showing is its velocity. So you can see that it is speeding up when it moves to a region of lower potential. And likewise, if it moves to the left, to a region of higher potential, then you can see that it's slowing down. So this means for the top here, if you're speeding up, that means the kinetic energy is increasing. And if you're speeding down, if you're speeding down, if you're slowing down, then the kinetic energy is decreasing. So let's think about what happens to the potential energy. If a positive charge is moving to a region of lower potential, do you remember what happens to the potential energy? It always helps to draw those lines, right? These two little plates here. If you draw this, and because you have a high potential to a low potential, so that's why I draw the first one positive, it does a higher potential. Like the field goes to the right, that charge is moving to the right then it's moving the way it naturally wants to go towards those negative charges, it loses potential energy. So this is the idea of conservation of energy, that the net amount remains constant. If your kinetic energy increases, then your potential energy has to decrease as a result. So in this other case here, the potential energy increases. When a charge goes towards a higher potential where it doesn't naturally want to go under the influence of the electric field. So the equation for conservation of energy is given here, that change in kinetic energy equals a negative change in potential energy. Remember, this just comes from the fact that as one goes up, the other one goes down. If you write conservation of energy like we did in physics 1, we wrote KEI plus PEI equals KEF plus PF, there's no friction here. Well, if you rearrange these variables to get KE on one side and PE on the other, then you will get this. So any questions about that, make sure to put them in the comments. So we learned previously that the change in potential was the change in potential energy per charge. If we rearrange this, it gives us that the change in potential energy equals Q delta V. And we will use it in this form very often, so it's nice to, to see it this way. So this means that since the change in kinetic energy is the negative of that, that the change in kinetic energy is negative Q delta V instead of positive Q delta V. So using this equation, if we know that a charge is moving through a certain potential difference, then we can find a change in kinetic energy of that charge. Let's do a couple of questions. So this first question says, a positive charge moves as shown. What happens to its kinetic energy? Pause the video, think about it. All right, so let's see if you came up with the correct answer. So you could just answer this just conceptually. You can see that the positive charge is moving to the right where it doesn't naturally want to go. We do have to assume that it's only under the influence of the electric field here, which actually goes to the left, um, that there's no external force that could be like accelerating because the problem would have to say that. So the problem should say under the influence of the electric field only. So in that case, it's going to be slowing down. It doesn't want to go towards the positive charge. So the kinetic energy is going to decrease. So we can answer it conceptually, but we can also use the equation that we just learned. The change in kinetic energy 
equals negative q delta v. So this is a matter of just without numbers, just plugging in either positives or negatives for the variables. So the charge q is positive. And then what about the potential difference? If you're moving from left to right, you can see you're moving from a region of low potential to a region of higher potential. So that means that the potential difference between these two plates is positive. So if you multiply a negative number times a positive times a positive, you will get a negative answer. And that tells you that the kinetic energy is decreasing. If you repeat for a negative charge, think about what the answer is. So the answer does tend to be the opposite, that it will increase. But let's you know take a look. If we put a negative charge here, if it was moving to the right, then it's moving towards the region where it wants to go. So it's going to speed up in that direction, right? You can also think of the electric force, right? So I'm glad I thought of that. Um, remember, the positive charge experiences a force to the left, right, in the same direction as the electric field. So that force is going to slow it down. That's why the energy decreased. A negative charge always experiences a force opposite the electric field. So if it's experiencing a force to the right, then it's going to speed up in that direction. So there are different ways to think about it. So you can also solve it using this equation. So I'll let you plug those numbers in to do it that way. Let's look at the last problem for this video. An electron is released from rest at the dot, afterward the electron. So what's the electron going to do if it's released from rest at this location right here? You have negative charge. Is it going to go up or down or stay in that location? And is it going to, again, stay at the location or move with a steady speed or speed up? So think about it, pause the video, and let's take a look. So which way is the electron going to go? It's released from rest, so it's only under the influence of the electric field. So which way is the electric field going? The electric field it points towards a region of lower potential always. The electric field is going down. An electron always experiences a force in the opposite direction as the electric field. So the electron is going to experience a force upward. So it's going to move upward since it's released from rest. So we can cross out choices D and E and A. So the last part is, is it going to move upward with a steady speed or with an increasing speed? Well, since it is moving upward because of the force, that means it's, it's experiencing an acceleration. So that means that the speed will be increasing. And we know it's increasing versus decreasing because we know that when the electron goes the way that it naturally wants to, we know that the potential energy decreases and the kinetic energy increases. So we know it's speeding up towards that region of higher potential. That's all for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.